Hey guys, welcome to my Samoan language instruction greetings too. The first thing that we're going to learn in this video is how to ask someone how many brothers and sisters they have. And in Samoan, it's a little bit trickier than I believe that it is in, Sam in English because it's gender specific. So the first part that we're going to talk about is for males. So if you are a male or if you're talking to a male, this is how they would refer to their brothers or sisters. So the first part I want you to know is for males, the equivalent to brother or brothers is uso. So if you're a male, your brother is considered your uso. And your sister is considered your tua fafine. Tua fafine. So that's the first thing. Now we're going to uh, find out how to learn how to say how many brothers do you have for a male? If you're talking to a male, this is how you would say it. You would say, a toa fia o uso. A toa fia o uso. And breaking this up just a little bit, this a fia part right here, imagine I don't have this toa. Imagine I don't have that toa. A fia by itself means how much or how many. So in this case, it's how many. And since I'm asking about an amount of people, then I throw on that toa part. So how many people, you have to indicate to the person that you're talking that you're including an amount of people. So that's why I throw on this toa right before the fia. So if I just wanted to say how many drinks of soda did you have today, I would say a fia. Or how many boxes did you carry? A fia. But if you're including an amount of people, like how many brothers and sisters do you have? Or how many people work for you? Or how many people go to school with you? You say a toa fia. And then the next part of this is your brothers. So how many of your brothers is what this sentence is actually saying. And this your right here, I might be getting a little bit too specific at this point in the course, but this is a way that you say your, okay? So we'll talk about that a little bit more in depth as we go on, but the way that I say your in someone is either low or o, oh, and there's different ways of saying it, but for right now, all I want you to know is that if I'm talking about a singular amount of something, I say low with this L. And the way that I remember it is that this L kind of looks like a one. So that indicates to me or whoever that you're talking about a singular item or person. And in this case, if I said a toa fia, if I said a toa fia low uso, then that would be talking about um, how many is your brother, which wouldn't make sense. Um, but just kind of grammatically saying or speaking, uh, what's the name of your brother? You would say lo uso. So that's that. But since we get, we're getting rid of that L right here in this case, then we use O. And that's why we have it written there. That is the plural version of your. And we'll learn more, but for now I want you to know that lo is the singular your, and o is the plural your. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to learn is how to say how many sisters do you have. And again, this is a toa fia, and I'm using the toa right here to indicate that there's an amount of people, there's people involved. And then how many your sisters is basically what this is saying. A toa fia o toa fa fine. And if you were to respond to this, it would be something like, I have three brothers and one sister. And this is how we would say it in English normally. And the blue part that I have in English right here is how it's kind of directly translated in Samoan. We don't really say, I have three brothers and one sister in Samoan the same way we do in English. You have to change it up a little bit. So, three, my plural brother, and one, my singular sister. Just like I was saying with the, just like I was saying with the your, remember how we said the low is the plural version of your, or sorry, the plural version of my, and um, of your, sorry, and 
O was the, sorry, let me uh, clarify. Lo is the singular version of your, and O is the plural version of your. We have uh, the same kind of thing going on with my. So in this case, I have O'u and Lo'u. So O'u is the plural version of my. And lo'u is the singular version of my. The only thing that differs between my and your is this glottal stop that we have right here. So if you take that glottal stop away, you have the o right here, the your. So remember we said the your plural was o, and the your singular was lo. It's the same thing with the my. The my, the only difference is, is we have that glottal in between the O and the U. So that shouldn't be too much harder. Again, the L accompanies for the singular version of my too. It has that L with it. So, and we'll get into that more in depth later. Uh, but again, let's uh, ask, let's, let's learn how to respond. So, you can arbitrarily change these numbers, 3 and 1. Um, but I'm just throwing these numbers out there. So uh, the way that you would say I have three brothers and one sister in Psalm 1 is you would say three my plural brother and one my plural sister. And let's try to walk through that. A toa tolu. Notice we have the toa again, just like we had up here in the toa fia. I am including an amount of people. I'm saying there's three people. There's three brothers, and brothers are people. So three people are my brothers, and it kind of sounds funny in English, um, or in Psalm 1, if you translate that directly into English, but that's how you indicate to whoever you're talking that you're including an amount of people. So, a totolu o u uso. So that's three, my plural, brothers, okay? And again, the plural version of my is o'u. And then we're saying and, and one, my singular sister. So that's and, one, my sister. Toa tasi lo'u tua fafini. And this lo'u is the singular version of my. So again, you could change this to ha however it is for you. If you only had one brother, then you would switch the order of this. You would say, instead of uso right here, you would say uso here at the end. So you would say, you know, I have three sisters. So you'd say etoa tolu. Oh, uh, to a fafine. If you had, I'm just gonna highlight this right here and and sit and pretend like it's written. A to a tolu o to a fafine ma to tasi lo uso. You could say it like that. Or if you only had one sister and one brother, then you could say a to a tolu o u. Sorry. You would switch, if you wanted to say, I have one brother and one sister, you would switch this right here to a one, and I'm going to leave that red, and this would be Tasi. So you just basically, wherever the Toa is, you throw in the number after um, yours. So whatever you have, you just say a Toa, and then you replace the number that you have, and then, since this is a 1, I have to switch this o'u right here to a lo'u. So I'd say, e toa tasi lo'u, because it's the singular version of my. So whatever the way it is for you, change it to how it is for you. If you have no siblings, or if you have uh, no brothers and sisters, I, I, I included an add-on video for that. In the next video. So if you have no brothers or no sisters, or if you have no brothers and sisters, then I included that in the next video because I'm trying to condense these videos just a little bit. So that is how you would do it for a male or talking with a male. Now for the female portion, 
it's a little bit different. So for females, when you refer to your brother, or if you're talking to a female, the way that it's referred um, to their brother, or if you're a female, your brother, you call them your tuangane. Tuangane. That's a, a little bit of a tricky word because of the G. And then your sister's is uso. So this is a little bit tricky in Samoan because, again, it's gender-specific because uso is used for both women and males. So for women, sisters means uso. So if you're talking to a, a woman and she says uso, she's talking about her sister. And if you're talking to a man and he says uso, he's talking, to, um, he's talking about his brother. And if you're a man and you say uso, you're talking about your brother. And if you're a female and you say uso, you're talking about your sister. So this is why it's a little tricky. And the way that I think of uso, uso is basically the sibling with the same gender uh, as you. If you're talking about your uh, same sex gender or, or brother or sister and the same for whoever you're talking to. So, uso is the same gender as the person you're talking to or your brother or sister, depending on which brother and sister you're talking about. So, uso is the same gender sibling as either yourself or the person you're talking to. So, the way that we say how many brothers do you have for a woman is a toafia a toafia o tuangane. A toafia o tuangane. And how many sisters do you have? You would say a toafia o uso. And you can do this all in one question. A lot of times we say this in English. Uh, how many brothers? And so we're going to cross this part off. And we're going to cross this part off, and we're going to include and right here. How many brothers and sisters do you have? So this is a valid question as well. And the only thing that you have to do is you, uh, you take this part off. So you would say, Etofia o tuangane ma uso. Or, etofia o tuangane ma uso. So, you could leave the O in there and you could take the O off. That's why I left it. Um, I, I would put it in parentheses if, if I could a little bit better. But, etofia o tuangane ma o uso. Or, you could just say, etofia o tuangane ma uso. And you could do the same thing if you, uh, you're talking to a male. Uh, you just take off the same part and you would add a ma. So, ma o to a fafine. So, that's how you ask that question all in just one setting. Um, and then again, here's another response. And the blue portion is kind of how you would answer that. To my plural brothers and for my plural sisters, you have a really big family. So, you would say something like, e toa lua o tuangane. Matoa fa o uso. If I was a female, I would say something like that. And again, if you have a different amount of siblings, the only thing you do is you change this portion right here, the lua and the fa, and you replace that number with whatever number you have. And if you again, if you don't have any siblings, or if you don't have any sisters, or if you don't have any brothers, I included a portion of how to do that on the next video. It's called Greetings to Add-On. But, um, and then also the other change that you have to make is if one of these underlined portions in blue is a tossy, if you have one brother or one sister, or if you just have one brother and sister, uh, you would change those that underlined portion that's in blue to a tossy, and then you would also change this o'u to a lo'u. So if you had one brother, you would say e to tasi lo'u tuangane ma fa o'u uso or something similar to that. Okay, so I hope that helped. And if you are having trouble, this is kind of a difficult concept. I recommend 
rewatching the portion that you need to watch or just start over from the beginning and pause wherever needed. Okay, moving on, kind of go fast from now on. And how many people are in your family? You would say a toa fia. Uh, notice again we have the toa there. And tangata ilo aina. And this is something that I kind of got in a bad habit. I'm actually redoing this video because of this one thing alone. And it's because I don't want you to get in a bad habit like me. In Samoan, a lot of people tend to slur. And that's kind of frustrating, especially when you're first learning off. But you need to learn it the right way. And especially if you're teaching a course like I did, I need to make sure that I'm not slurring my words. Um, but you need to really exaggerate that A because it has a macron on top of it. So, e tofia tangata ilo ainga. And if you hear it a little faster, it's ainga. Ainga. And it, this is really close. If I didn't have the macron on it, and if I just said ainga, that means like food or meal or something like that. So, you really need to exaggerate, especially when you're first off, ainga. And then when you get on a little bit further, you're going to hear it more fast, and it might sound something like ainga. So ainga, ainga. Don't, don't say ainga. Say ainga. Okay? So moving on, again, you would say something like, uh, this is kind of a recap of what we said, and depending on <clears throat> if you're a male, you would use uh, tua fafine, if you are male, and if you're a female, you would say tuangane. All right, moving on. If you had so many children, um, you would say etoa, and then the number, and then oufanau. And if you had one child, you would say etoa tasi, and then you would add an L right here to lo'u, or to o'u, and it would be lo'u. If you had no children, you would say eliai ni now. So I'm actually going to write that on, do I have space over here? I don't really have a lot of space. So, um, sorry, let's, let's say something, let's, let's just take that away. So if you had no children, you would say this. And that is said like, Eliai ni ou fa now. This right here is no, so n I don't have any children is basically what you're saying. So hopefully that makes sense. And um, I need to bring that back. And I can't. So sorry about that. Uh, and if you are a little bit more elderly and you have grandchildren, you would say something like, I have so many grandchildren. And the only difference between the last one, I have so many children and I have so many grandchildren, is you say the same thing, but you include uh, an O fa now at the end. You say, you say, so many of my children of children. You're saying, I have this many children of my children. You have to specify that it's the children of your children, not like grandchildren like it is in English. And if you don't have any grandchildren, again, you just say the same thing I did on the last part. Um, so if you said, you just, you'd say the same thing. Oh, fa now. Oh, fa now. Hopefully that helps, and I'm going to have to do it manually so I don't lose my slide again, and I did. Sorry about that. Okay, so then you could say something like, what's your spouse's name? And you would say, oai le suafa o lo toa lua. Oai le suafa o lo toa lua. Uh, and then you could replace toa lua with husband, and that's tane. And then wife, you would say ava. Make sure you really exaggerate that second A. Ava, that's the common way to say wife. 
And if you want to be more polite, you would say fale tua. And again, don't say fale tua for your own wife, even though you are talking about someone else. It's kind of rude because you're bringing respect to yourself by calling your own wife fale tua. And that might not be so critical, but I, 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 especially at the beginning, I would use ava. If you wanted to say dad, you would say tama. If you wanted to say mom, you would say tina, uh, son of a man. So this is another thing that's gender specific. So a man calls his son atali'i, or you call a man's son atali'i. And then a man's daughter is afafine. A son of a woman is tamatama, and daughter of a woman is tamatene. Grandfather, again, this is the father of my dad. Or if you were going to say the father of your dad, you would say the same thing. You'd say that without the glottal. So you'd say tama o lo tama. But if it's for yourself, you'd say tama o lo tama. And then father of my mother. So again, this would be. Uh, tama o lo utina, and again, if you wanted to talk about theirs, you just replace that lo with a lo. And these other ones, grandmother, so a mother of my father, you have to specify this. Tina o lo utima, and the grandmother, the mother of my mother, is tina o lo utina. And then if you wanted to ask people about their hobbies, um, what are your hobbies, you would say, Oa au mea e te fia fia e fai. Oa au mea e te fia fia e fai. What do you do in your free time? Oa au mea e fai i lo taimi avanoa. Oa au mea e fai i lo taimi avanoa. And what do you like to do? O ani mea e te fia fia e fai. O ani mea e te fia fia e fai. So just kind of briefly talking about what this means. This is what. It's a plural what if you're talking about a plural amount of things. O a. Your things is kind of what this is meaning. What are your things uh, you like to do? Uh, this is the same. Um, what are some things you do in your time spare? So your spare time, and then what are some things you like to do? Then you could say, I like to play basketball, computer games, football. So you'd say, O te fia fia e ta'alo, paschetti polo, ta'alonga come piuta. You don't really see that a lot in Samoa. And Lakapi America, or if you wanted to say rugby, you just say Lakapi. Uh, I also like to um, camp, run, travel. So you would say something like O te fia fia foi e uh, tolau api. You don't really see that a lot in Samoa. Ta moe and fe malanga ai. In my free time, I like to i o o taimi avanoa o te fia fia e fai, listen to music fa alongo longo i musica ta alo ta alonga or efeleti ta ta le kitala and fai tau tusi. Where do you work? O fe e te fai ngaloenga ai. O fe e te fai ngaloenga ai. How long have you worked there? O lea le umi. What is the length? Talu ona e fangaloenga i ina. And this is like since you worked there. And the ona, just right now, don't worry about it. Uh, where are you going to school? O fea e te a onga ai. What are you studying? O lea la o mata upu o lo o ave. So this is kind of like the what singular, what is the thing, what is your subject you're taking is kind of what you're saying literally. Um, company is komopani. 
Uh, full time is Taimi Atoa or Tumau. Like Tumau is more like permanent. Part time is Fa'avai Taimi. School is Aonga. University is University. Uh, sorry, Iunevesite. Uh, study is Sue Sue. Student is Tangata Aonga. Major is Mata Upu Autu or Sue Suenga. Or you could just say Mata Upu for short. Uh, to work is Fai Ngaluenga for like pay and like an effort kind of work is Ngalue. Uh, before my mission, and you could also apply this to you if you're not LES or if you're not about to go on a mission, and after my mission, you could say other things, and I briefly go through that real quick. But before my mission, I, I lay, or sorry, I lei la umisiona, sa o, lived with my parents, went to school, worked full time, studied, uh, nofo i o ma tua, remember to say ma tua. Uh, alu ile aonga, fang aloenga tu mau, or sue sue, and obviously you could change those to be more applicable to you. After my mission, I would like to a uma la omisiona o te fia maua se fang aloenga, go back to school, toifoi ile aonga, or tautua ile militeli. Militeli. Um, if if you wanted to say like before I came to Samoa, it would be um, I let e I let e uh, let's do this I let e lao malanga before my journey here. So you would say something like I let e lao, and then you would say malanga. Before my journey, um, I did whatever you wanted to say, and um, after this journey, you would say, Ah, Uma, Lene, Malanga, after this journey, and then you would say whatever you wanted, um, like, uh, Sa, or I want to do something like that. That is the end of our video. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, tofa, soy fort.